What's going on guys, Mike here, and uh, welcome to some more Black Ops. It's a ground war domination on the map Cracked, and I am using the sexy ass gold commando, which just looks like it has a seatbelt on the front of it. Don't know about you, looks like it to me, but... You know, we joined a little bit late, which is, and we're down by... Well, we're only down by about five points, but they're holding C and B, but we managed to pull it back. I'm using the gold commando, got the red dot, and hardline slider fan, and the hacker. And I was actually trying to get the pro perks for Hardline and Hacker because I'm 14th Prestige and I don't even have them pro perks. So I, I <laughs> got the C4s on, trying to get some C4 kills occasionally, but I don't even think I get any. I haven't actually watched this gameplay back, so I know it's a pretty good gameplay. I go 84 and 7. I'm trying to mix it up, guys. I'm trying to provide, you know, high scoring gameplays. So like 84 and 7 is pretty high scoring. I've got... I'm not going to tell you what sort of scoreline, but I've got a pretty ridiculous high scoreline saved up. Um, I'm trying to provide, you know, the comeback videos, some people like that. The COD tips, I've got a lot of ideas going around in my head that I can do with that. Um, you know, a montage I've got planning to come out. And I'm also going to try and provide some really fun, you know, mixing up gameplay. I had. Recently I went, well, probably about an hour ago, I went 46 and 4. Which you're thinking, 46 and 4? Really? Really, Kraz? Yeah, that's nowhere near your standard. I, I, know, I know, but I wasn't using the UAV counter and Blackbird. And, you know, you're probably still like, eh, that's, that's not that good. No, that's, that's average for you. But I was only hip firing. For the whole game, I didn't, I don't think I aimed in once. I was just running around hip firing. So, if you want to see that, then put it in the comments below. Because it was actually a really fun gameplay to get. And, I, honestly, I'm just messing about on Black Ops no more. Well, I, I'm not messing about. I'm using ridiculously stupid classes because, you know, I've got... I've got so many gameplays saved up with like the Famous, the M16, the MP5, you know, so literally my classes are now just the Fal, the M14, the Stoner, and just stupid classes like that, trying to provide some entertaining stuff, so that's what I'm doing. And I don't want to talk about the gameplay, you'll notice that sometimes I talk about the gameplay, sometimes I'll talk about, you know, a random ass topic. And um, first of all, in two weeks time, it's two weeks today, it's Friday at the minute, so it'll be about two weeks today, yeah. I'm going to America, I am going to uh, Florida, Orlando, Florida again. I went in December, but that was more along, along the lines of a holiday, and this time just me and my dad are going, and uh, I think we're going to buy a house or two over there, and uh, I don't know, rent it out or something like that. I don't know, we're just going for a week, and my dad's setting up a business in Florida, so I'm guessing I'm in the future I might spend a few months at a time in uh, America, which would be pretty cool. I do like the country, you know. I like my food, and so do you, so I like you. And I just gave you a thumb up like the thumbs up cat. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to America in two weeks' time. I'm still t still going to take my laptop because I'll hook it up to the internet so I can, you know, carry on replying to messages. And hopefully I'll have, like, ten pre-rendered videos saved up so I can upload. I can still upload when I'm on a holiday, so, like, if it's... 10 at night or whatever and I'm going to sleep I'll literally just click upload on a video so you guys can still enjoy my videos when I'm on holiday um, so that would be pretty awesome looking forward to going there and let's talk about that and I'm just going to talk about a random topic and I want to talk about scuba diving I don't have a clue why I want to talk about scuba diving but it's pretty cool I, I don't know why I, when I load up my internet like MSN loads up it's, it's like the MSM website, and I seen a video, and it was like, when sharks attack, I was like, what? When sharks attack? And I just watched it, and I was vi like fixated by it so bad, I was like just watching it for about 45 minutes. And then uh, for the next half an hour, I was watching shark attack videos on the, uh, on the internet. Um, random, I know, but I don't know. It's like, I, I went scuba diving once, well, I've been quite a few times actually. First time we went in Egypt, and it's pretty awesome, and then we went to Egypt a second time. And then um, we decided to pass our paddy course, which a paddy course basically enables you to go scuba diving on yourself, you know, as long as you're an adult or you've got an adult, adult supervision, you can go scuba diving on yourself. So if we like go to America, we might get a boat out and go scuba diving or something like that. But uh, we did our paddy course the second time and the paddy course, you know, combines of going out on a few dives. Uh, and then you've got to do a night dive and the night dive was fucking immense I, I don't know how many of you have been scuba diving before but honestly I fully <laughs> if you've got the chance honestly go it's it's incredible experience it's it's really cool honestly like you're just underground breathing and then you see all the, like the fish and 
whales or wherever it matters where you're going but you get to see them on the natural habitat and you see thousands of different species it's fu it's fucking awesome guys honestly and honestly if you have the chance to go scuba diving on your next holiday or whatever like that i fully fully recommend going because it's freaking insane we went on a night dive and we had this little shitty torch which which gave you like no light honestly it was the worst torch i've ever fucking seen in my life it was like a little dim light it was like a little laser beam or something and the leader like the leader who we had to follow he had this massive whack off torch which was like a freaking i don't know like batman you know where batman lies on the thing and uh, never mind just ignore that reference anyway <laughs> like he had this whack off torch and we had these little shit ones and everyone was like swimming off and i seen one of those puffer fish and if you don't know what a puffer fish is it's like one of them it's the fish that puff up when they get scared like the one of finding nemo and i seen one of them and i really wanted to stroke it so i put my light on it and it kept swimming up to the light and then eventually i got to stroke it when he got close enough it was freaking out awesome. and then i couldn't see anyone around me it was pitch black so i was there pitch black with a little shitty torch on myself and I couldn't find anyone. It took me like two or three minutes to actually find the people again. And honestly, it's it's a bit scary because it's pitch black and you've got a little torch. You you know, out the, you can't see anything except for that light you're holding. You don't know what can be behind you. You don't know what's to the side of you. You know, it could be fucking sharks following you. But I don't know. That was a really cool experience. Um, so, and also I did actually get experience. You know, a shark dive or whatever you want to. Not a shark dive, but we just went. Um, uh, when we went to Mexico a few years back, went to Cancun. We went scuba diving with turtles and dolphins there. That was that was freaking awesome too. You know, swimming with turtles in the natural habitat is immense. You know, it's, it's like I'm I'm a conf I'm confident swimmer and like a confident scuba diver. So I was like just going right to the bottom and just like completely following him and just oblivious to what anyone else was doing. That was that was awesome. We went with uh, dolphins, manatees, sea, sea lions. Wait, that was cool. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, when I'm on holiday, I like do random stuff because my family are fairly well off. So um, you know, when we go on holiday, we just like do anything we want. We get we went scoop. We, we pretty much go scuba diving on every holiday, and uh, we went. To, I think we went to Kenya last year. And um, yeah, if you ever been to Kenya, I, I didn't really like it because like we went on a saf the safari dive and the safari. And there's loads of bugs and it's pretty horrible. But anyway, this gameplay is wrapping up. I'm going to talk about it really quick. I went to Kenya. I went diving. And we seen this big ass fish. And we was like, oh, that looks awesome. It was on the bottom not doing anything. It was like, oh my god, this fish is awesome. And we was following it for about five minutes. And the man did the sign for like dangerous. And we was like, oh yeah, okay. It doesn't look very dangerous. And then we got out the uh, boat uh, about half an hour later. And he says, and we was like, oh, what was that fish? And he was like, oh, it was a, sh it was a shark. I was like, what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> He's like, oh, it's a shark. Uh, Anyway, gameplay's done, guys. Sorry I dragged it on a little bit. 84 and 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Next one will be about tips and whatever. But anyway, have a nice day. And please like the video as well. Anyway, bye. Mike, bye. 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 Bye.